Hi guys, it is late in the day. It's Sunday, February 10th, uh, after four o'clock. Don't get all excited. Um, by the computer. <laughs> um, we had our intervals of sanity broadcast today. Sorry if I made y'all dizzy. Um, we had our intervals of sanity broadcast this morning and then I spent the rest of the afternoon working on some paintings for my sister's um, business and um, her project she's working on. So I got a series of those done. And now I am going to go downstairs and I don't know, vegetate on the sofa. Cause that's a thing. I'll be back. Good morning. It is Monday morning, February 11th, I think. I think I'm in the art room. I don't have all the studio lights on. I just have the overhead. There you go. Um, I am, however, ready and set up to uh, paint and do my lesson this morning from Pauline Agnew's Expressive Seascapes class, which I'm taking all month this month because, you know, I don't have enough to do. <laughs> anyway, so I dug out some acrylics and mediums. I don't have any of the acrylic extender me slow drying medium. There is one, I don't have any, um, but I do have fluid matte medium, so I'll have to use what I have. Um, I don't really wanna run out to the store just for a medium that I probably will only use for the one lesson. Um, I like acrylics, mind you, but watercolor really is my preferred medium if I had to pick one. So um, that being said, I have a lot of watercolors, but I don't generally use them with adding a medium to it. But in this case, for this lesson, I'm going to be doing lots of paint mixing, and you don't want the paint to dry up on the palette before you have a chance to paint anything with it. So that's the thing. So um, hence the needing the medium. Um, what else? I need to do some laundry probably. That's like a constant thing around here. Finish my coffee. Get out of my pajamas. When you see me in this sweater, it's usually either because I'm freezing or still in my pajamas because I wear this as a bathrobe. So there you go. There's the secret. Um, I also need to pick a paint color for the guest room. We have a guest room that's empty, um, or almost empty. It's got an air mattress in it, but um, I have this really pretty, this really on. pretty bedspread we got um, on sale at Christmas time um, that has yellows and blues and greens and some grays in it. So, and the walls are already this sandy color, which is okay with me. But I want to paint this wall that the bed is up against, like one of the blues in the bedspread and then I did this seascape triptych which you all saw already and we're going to replace the painting that's over the bed with that and I'm thinking in the center of the wall I'm going to paint a dark brown almost charcoal colored rectangle and I'm going to hang the three abstract pores in that rectangle on the wall and the rest of the wall will be one of these shades of blue green and of course we need to get a bed. Um, and I'm already eyeballing one from Ikea. Um, this air mattress is great temporarily, but it's not a permanent solution. We have these two metal file cabinets. They were from our offices in the old house. You can see one still has a moving sticker on it. Do you see that? <laughs> um, anyway, for the moment, they're gonna serve as nightstands. Um, at some point, we'll probably replace them with something, but for the moment, that works. And we have a bedside light. There is a TV up here, but it's not plugged into anything. It's mostly up here because we don't know what to do with it. And I want to put a dresser on this wall or a bookcase or something. So anyway, this room is a nice guest room because it has a view of the woods outside the window. So if you've been watching the vlog for a while, you'll recognize this room because this is where we had all of the art supplies staged while we were waiting for the floor to come into the other room, arts view of the other room. So anyway, all right, I should probably go get dressed now. <laughs> Take a shower and make the bed 
sort some laundry, probably do the dishes, you know, stuff like that, and then work on my lesson from Pauline. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Sorry, that's the windshield wipers. <laughs> They're obnoxiously squeaky. And I live in the Pacific Northwest now, land of much rain and many bridges. <laughs> okay, guys, it's, I think, 5.30. It's still Monday. Um, one of the things about moving I'm having trouble adjusting to, no, it's not the stairs. <laughs> Actually, those are seeming to be fine. My health is better. My asthma is better. But I used to have an hour commute, so when my husband would tell me he was leaving work, I had an hour to get caught up on all those things that I'd been putting off all day. I have like 10 minutes if I'm lucky these days. <laughs> so, crap. So he would tell me he was coming home and I was busy doing this. So, I had notes in my million pieces of little paper of notes and in my planner from before the move about a watercolor palette containing these colors. I don't remember why, but it was very specific about the colors. I don't know if I was trying to put together a muted foresty nature scene or a sea uh, scene. Muted foresty nature palette or a sea themed palette, I'm not sure, but the colors are very interesting together. Um, and I had them all. And I had this extra little master's touch palette and of course some pans, I've got a million empty pans. So I put the little palette together and we are, and I've already swatched the colors. I've got some lessons with the Pauline Agnew class, Expressive Seascapes to do. I'm taking the class for the whole month of February. And one of the things she usually has you do at some point in any of her classes that you take with her is limit your palette. And it would be really interesting to try to do one of her lessons with this palette, I think. So, yeah, now I better cook something for lunch because, yeah, that's going to be, I mean lunch. Hello, dinner. Oh my God, Monday is so bad. Half the pictures I've taken today are um, of my feet or the ceiling. I messed up on the postage on the two Etsy orders, so I had to go run them to the mailbox today instead of waiting to do it till tomorrow because I got the date wrong on the book. Like, it's just, it's Monday. Can we just have a do-over or can it just be done and like it's Tuesday? Holy cow. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to go back downstairs and have my tea and get dinner started and that's it. I will see you all tomorrow. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning, February 12th, I think. And it is raining outside it is supposed to keep raining for like two days so that's a thing welcome to the Pacific Northwest <laughs> um, I do have to go out to the store today I think I'm gonna try to consolidate all or most of what we need by just going to a store like Fred Meyer or Target I think I'm gonna choose Target today this time and um, you know, kind of one-stop shopping kind of place. I don't need too much food. I, I do need some more coffee creamer, but I need lots of other random things. So I think I'm gonna go to Target um, out in the rain, but I'm not the Wicked Witch. I won't melt, I promise. My thoughts to this morning are with friends of my husband, uh, I should say coworkers and his family. They lost their son yesterday, um, who was a couple years older than our daughter. I didn't know him. I don't know the family well. My husband does, but the thought of it makes me want to cry. He uh, lost his battle with cancer, and so that's really sad. And then this morning, I found out a friend of mine and her husband are not feeling well and not doing well, and they're actually headed to the hospital. So uh, at least I hope they are, because it sounds like they need to go. So yeah, it's just, you know, a great week. <laughs> So we're going to send our thoughts and prayers to everybody involved, uh, all of those people and families, and hope that they are, my friend and her husband are on the mend soon, and, uh, you know, wish the other family all the best. I'm going to go get a sympathy card. That's one of the things I need to get this morning. I feel helpless. When these things happen, you feel helpless because you can't do anything. We definitely feel that way, but the least I can do is send a sympathy card, so I'm going to do that. So anyway, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. 
I had to make a couple of side trips because um, there are some food things that I thought Target for sure would have they didn't have so thankfully there's a Safeway right over here across the street so I'm gonna go there I'm in Sherwood and I prefer the shops over here versus King City anyway um, there was also a Dollar Tree nearby in a Ross and I went to both of them because I refused to spend ten dollars or more on a trash can that's right, a trash can. And that's not an Oregon thing, that's a just everywhere thing. It was ridiculously expensive in California too. You know, I needed two more garbage cans for the art room. One for my husband's little desk because he keeps stealing my can and I go to throw trash in and there's no can there. Um, but also we need to start recycling when we can in the art room. You know, I'm throwing away lots of notes and little scraps of paper, I think those are recyclable. So. Um, I want to have one can that's a different color than the other ones. It's just set up for things that are recyclable paper and that sort of thing. Um, I'm even going to biodegradable baby wipes. I use baby wipes in the art space all the time. Um, and granted, the paint that's on them is not biodegradable, but at least the baby wipe itself won't last in the environment like forever. Um, and it's not made out of plastic. It's made out of plant material. So anyway, um, it's a bit more expensive, but I think it's worth it. And... So now I'm going to go run over to Safeway, get the couple things there that I need, and then we're going to just go home. And by the time I get home, I'm probably going to be hungry for lunch. Then I need to watch Pauline's lesson for today in her class that I'm taking, and then I need to practice some more with my abstracted clouds because, yeah, my work sucks. Pauline's trying to be very nice, and she gives very kind, constructive criticism. She's very sweet. But yeah, my work sucked this week so far. So <laughs> we're only one day in, two days in. So anyway, I'm gonna do that and then I will be back. Good morning. It is 7.44 a.m. Thursday, February 14th. I only know that because I got the iPad right there to tell me. And I actually looked. It's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I hope you're getting to spend it with someone you love. Um, I forgot to vlog yesterday all day. I remembered it like 10.30 last night, but yeah, I wasn't going to vlog. I was tired. <laughs> I don't have a good excuse except that I was busy working on my homework for Pauline Agnew's class and trying to redo a lesson from last week that I wasn't happy with that I did in acrylic. So... It's technically still morning for four more minutes. <laughs> it's 11.56 on Friday, February 15th. Don't get all excited. I only know that because I've been up for a while. I'm in the car so I can see the clock. Um, and it's the day after Valentine's Day, so even I can't get that wrong, I think. <laughs> hey guys, how are you? So, <laughs> I watched a video last late last night by uh, channel the name is pencil stash I'll link the video in the description below but it's one of those videos that you watch and as you're watching it you're smacking yourself in the forehead going oh my god why didn't I think of that so <laughs> I should be doing so many other things this morning I am still taking Pauline Agnew's class thankfully I'm sort of caught up on the homework in there but so I thought I'd spend the weekend um, doing some sewing because I have some some pencil bags to make for some friends 
Um, and then I thought I could, may, I would probably get a little bit behind making the pencil bags, but that by Tuesday or Wednesday I could get back on track with the homework for the class. I don't think that's going to happen now because now after I watch that video, I have to reorganize all my pens and pencils. <laughs> so we're headed out to Michael's and Home Goods and yeah. So anyway, I'll bring you with me. <laughs> I'll be back. Oh my gosh, everybody. So I got the little plastic trays. I got four three packs of white. I did get some pink ones because they didn't have any more. I bought all the white ones I had left. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use them or not or need them or like the color, but I got them. If I don't use them, I'm going to just bring them back. Then I went to Home Goods, which is like two stores down in the same shopping center, and I got so lucky. The exact gray shelves that she had in her video, and again, the video is linked in the description below, I found at Home Goods. Now, in my Home Goods, they weren't on clearance, unfortunately, but the price wasn't too bad, and I, yay! And so I bought both of the ones they had. They only had two, so I bought them. Um, I can't believe it. And I have my other little cabinets besides, so if some of my markers or crayons don't fit, um, but I can get everything else in there, then I can use the little pen slots in the old cabinets um, to um, put um, them by color family um, in those pen slots, like all the yellows and all the you know greens. Um, but we'll see what happens. I have pared down a lot of my pencils and pens, so. And you know, I was not only inspired by the video, but I've been doing Pauline Agnew's lessons for her class, and she does do quite a bit of mixed media, and she's all about mark making, and I keep wanting to add pencil marks to some of the paintings, and in black, and I cannot find my black pens. I know I have black colored pencils. I can't find them. I found the brown one, so I used that one. Um, so that's another reason for doing this, because all the black pencils will be in one bin with black pens. The, all, all the black stuff will be in one bin. I love that. All right, so we're going to go home and we're going to, I guess, start sorting mark making tools. Yeah. I'll be back. Hey, guys. So that was a detour. <laughs> so I just, I said earlier, I was just obsessed with this video last night when I watched it and I had to just go do something about my storage. Uh, I have to say to you, I already am in love with it. Um, and I'm going to flip the camera around so I can show you, oops, there we go. That's better. So I can show you what it looks like. It's really late in the day, the sun's setting. Um, but I want to show you what it looks like. It looks great. Um, I still have one more um, thing to sort uh, my watercolor paints. And I did um, put some artwork that I've been meaning to in mats and in, pla in bags, um, so it's ready to sell. I'm gonna list it right now before I go down back downstairs. Um, I was waiting for the mats to come in from Amazon and they just did today, so. Um, let me flip the camera around and show you all that and I'll be right back. sewing desk because I had a bunch of stuff that was by the pen and pencil storage um, because I, um, in front of that, because I had to move the painting stuff because I'm supposed to, it was supposed to be sewing today. Anyway, that desk normally doesn't look like that, but this is what the new section of the pen and pencil storage looks like. Isn't it cool? So each bin, when you pull it out, like this one, has everything in it that's orange. Orange pencils, orange gel pens, orange markers, orange everything, right? And so each bin is that way. So when I'm working on a project, I can just grab, hello, the black one. Who knew I had so many black things because I couldn't find any the other day. Um, the green one. Some of the bins were really full and I had a number of sort of duplicates of like say colored pencils in the same color. I had Derwent ink tents and then regular Derwent pencils. I don't need both. So in some of the bins I purged like I think blue, green, and red because I had, like I said, I had duplicates. I don't use colored pencils that much so I don't need duplicates. Um, this is because I was working on the painting stuff over that way. Otherwise, that would be put away. Um, but up here on top are uh, my watercolor mediums, my sort of paint blob jar, my alcohol, my painter's tape. I use that for watercoloring. My rulers and that sort of thing for doodling. My random tool jar. 
um, you know, pokey tools and stuff like that, tweezers. And then over here, I had four of these. I put one away and I have blending tools. And these are all blending tools. These are uh, back stock on black big pens, other black pens, white gel pens, metallic markers, white markers, black markers. And then these are other, all my like big markers sorted by color, just like the little drawers. So if I'm working on the little drawers and I'm working with blues and I decide I want a big fat marker, um, whether it's a um, permapick or it's a Faber Pastel big pit, uh, pit pen, I can just come over here and grab those too because they're all sorted by color. And then on top I have my um, organizer that's full of my watercoloring uh, stuff mostly. This little drawer is like collage, like gift cards and frosting spreaders and things you use like to flatten out your collage. These are not white pencils. These are the kind of pencils you sharpen to help you pick up um, flat back gems and small stones when you're doing beadwork and stuff. And then this is an air, air thing. It's all painty. Um, powder pigments, my um, pencil sharpener, a random wooden stamp I think is cute that just never seems to get put away. Um, these are all the like big fat paint pens I own anymore. I don't have any um, Posca pens anymore except for black and white. I don't like them particularly. I'm going to use these up and then they're gone. Um, short graphite pencils and these giant woody Stabilo woody crayons um, and my multi pens, some koi uh, multi pencils, multicolored pencils, more powder pigments. And then these are all of my sort of water soluble crayons. And then the drawers underneath have things like pencil sharpeners and blenders, paper bead supplies, um, leads and um, grinding tools, uh, empty watercolor pans and that sort of thing. And then this one has ink refills and um, fountain pen nibs. And that's gonna work out great for me because everything's sorted and organized and when I'm working on a project and I want a black pencil, for God's sake, I can just come over here, grab the black bin, and all my pencils are in there. I love that. Anyway, over here, I still have to do that. I have to sort some watercolor paints into a different bin because that bit, that box is driving me crazy. Um, this I used to have in my bathroom downstairs with makeup and stuff in it. I decided to repurpose it for up here, and I can already tell you this is going to work great. Um, I had all this stuff like randomly all over the desk and this is much neater and bonus look at all this free space around here normally my iPad's not there and that's free too so that's very cool and then over here my mats came today from Amazon as I said and I had some jelly prints and things that you know there every now and then you create mono prints that are just too pretty to like tear up and do other stuff with so I have some ones um, that are frameable. They're already matted. The mats are 11 by 14, and they come just like this in the mat. They're signed in a bag. They're originals, one of a kind. Um, and I have, um, I don't know how many I have. I really like this purple one. I don't know why. And then there's a few watercolors in here too. Remember I was doing the watercolor anatomical hearts? And these are, again, these are the originals. And they're all signed and they are all for sale and they are in the Etsy store which will be list, uh, linked in the description below so now that I'm done with all I that, guess I can get back to sewing right because I am supposed to be working on these each one of these baskets has a bag in it that I'm supposed to be making so I need to do that and then I need to do that so I don't get too far behind on Pauline Agnew's class and my painting homework which is right there because <laughs> you know <laughs> but now my muse is um, you know happy as a clam so glad to accommodate her this time I guess all right that's it for today and that's it for the week um, my husband is downstairs continuing his work on our pantry cabinet and um, sprucing that up uh, the old owners of this house um, you know, they, they did a good job designing and building the house, but they certainly took out some wear and tear on it. And so he is giving things a tune-up and he is fixing it 
Um, so he's working on another whole big section this weekend. And um, I think we're going to spend some time this weekend and go out for a drive and go explore the neighborhood too. So anyway, and when I'm not doing all that, I'll be sewing. Mm -hmm. All right. So I hope you've all had a great week and uh, you're having a great day. And, um, you know, if you want to support the free content here on YouTube, there's a lot of different ways to do that. Um, they're all in my link tree, which is in, linked in the description below. If you click on the link tree link, you'll find me every place on the internet. My Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, my tip jar, my Amazon store, my book, where if you want to go buy my book that I wrote, um, my Etsy shop, all that stuff. So besides those paintings, you know, we've got a ton of inventory down here. <laughs> it's got to go. So, and then I've started, I don't know what may end up being, let's see if I can do this. Um, you see the basket right there? There we go. Whoop, 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 wait. There we go. That basket, that's full of paint and pencils and markers and pens from the sort today that I decided I didn't need and I wasn't sure why I kept. So I might be filling some boxes, supply boxes, and I don't know yet. So if you're if you're interested in a random bag of pens and pencils and markers, let me know. There um, is some Derwent pencils in there, some Rafine pencils in there, probably some uh, a random Prismacolor pencil, some Bic pens, some Paper Mate Flare pens. Um, there are all kinds of stuff in there. Uh, I don't really know for sure what's in there. Um, just things I know I had that there's nothing wrong with. They all seem to go. I know there's some random Faber-Castell pens in there, different nib sizes. Um, I think mostly in brown, but don't hold me to that. Um, anyway, they're just random goodie bags, but if you're interested, let me know, put a comment in the comments below or send me an email. My email links in the description. So anyway, all that's all done. I don't think I have anything else to say. I think I'm talked out for the day. All right. That's it for right now. Uh, go out and have a great day, everybody. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.